go through this and talk about how to do practice with mixed questions of some multiplication division, some addition subtraction. So as a reminder for addition subtraction, you count decimal places. For multiplication division, count sig figs. Use scientific notation for any number greater than 1,000 or less than 0.1. You can use it for any number. You'll never lose points. However, outside the range of between this and this, if you don't use it, you lose points. So if in doubt, just use scientific notation for everything. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to, for each of these, run through the calculation, write the raw answer, write which rule applies, write what we're counting, and then show the work. In order to make this go faster, I'm going to make this answer key right here, m over d equals multiplication division, a over s equals addition subtraction. It's generally bad to make up your own abbreviations, but if necessary, always put a key so that it's clear what your abbreviations stand for. So these are the abbreviations I will be using. So let's go through this. To begin with, the first question. And just getting everything together. All right, this one. 730.0 plus 1456.335 gives that answer. So let's write that down. 2186.335. Obviously, this is addition subtraction rules. We're counting decimal places. And let's stack them up, just like was done here in this example. So 730.0, 1456.335. Notice I aligned them so that the decimal places are in the same place. And it came out to 2186.335. All right, we got around that. Count decimal places, last sig fig here for the top number, last sig fig here for the bottom number. This one is first to the left, so it determines where we round because it's the least exact number, the one with this last sig fig furthest to the left. So less exact means we use this one to round right here where that 3 is, which means it becomes 2,186.3. And since it's over 1,000, you have to use scientific notation. So it's 2.1863 times 10 to the third. That's our answer. All right, now this one, division. So we're obviously using our multiplication division rules. Again, I'm using the abbreviation I wrote a key for earlier. Um, the decimal places, obviously for you doing it, you should be doing it on paper that's together. I just did this ahead of time to make it faster. Um, but for decimal places, sorry, I don't know why I said that. For what we're looking at, we're looking at um, the number of sig figs. This determines how we round. So let's do the math. Point four five two eight eight four two divided by in parentheses four point five zero times ten to the second. And we get that, and we should for sure put that in scientific notation. 1.00640933 times 10 to the negative third. I ran out of space. All right, so 0 0.4528842 divided by 4.50 times 10 to the second. That's seven significant figures, three significant figures, this is 1.00640933 repeating times 10 to the third. That is going to round to three sig figs. So 1.01, .01, yeah, that zero is next to a six, so it rounds up, times 10 to the negative third. That gives us three sig figs. Okay, this, is, this is an acceptable standard abbreviation for significant figures. Um, so that's how that one goes. Let's move ahead. Minus. So we got addition subtraction rules going. We're going to have to stack these up. 3.845 times 10 to the power of 3. Subtract. Open parentheses. This is just 70, but whatever. I'll put a doll in there just the same. 
7.0 times 10 to the first. Subtract them out, you get that. 3,775. And why does it work that way? Well, we're counting decimal places, of course. And for counting decimal places, we got to stack them. So this is 3,845. If it's hard to see that, just doing a calculator, 3.845 times 10 to the third is 3,845. And the bottom number, this is just 70. Remember, you gotta convert to regular numbers, though 70 with a decimal point to show that it's a significant digit. And you're subtracting, so I'll put that there. We wrote the answer of 3,775. Now, last sig fig on here for the, is on this spot, and this is the last sig fig for the bottom number. They are, both last sig figs are in the same location, which means you round here, which means we just leave it as is. 3,775, a.k.a. 3.775 times 10 to the third. So you don't always have to round off. Sometimes the calculator will happen to give you the correct thing. It can happen. Anyway, as for this one, let's do it. 5.415, oops, almost forgot parentheses. 5.415 times 10 to the fifth. Close parentheses, divided by 1.083 times 10 to the power of negative 8. And it's just 5 times 10 to the 13th. 5 times 10 to the 13th. Well, that's a simple answer. Clearly, because with this, we're doing multiplication division rules, which means we are counting significant figures. So let's write them out. 5.415 times 10 to the 5th divided by 1.083 times 10 to the negative 8th equals 5 times 10 to the 13th. Now this is four significant figures. This is also four sig figs, so you better make this four significant figures. How do you make this four sig figs when it's just one? Easy. 5.000. Now you just turn five into four sig figs times 10 to the 13th, of course. Never forget to include the time power of 10. Now it's four sig figs, the way it should be. All right. Okay, this is also gonna be following the uh, multiplication division rule, and you're counting sig figs. So this one, Let's see what you get. Five, five, four, one, four, four. Oops, need to insert another one. Okay, there you go. Five, five, four, one, one, four, four. All right, divided by 30. You get one, eight, four, seven, zero, four, point eight. That's 184,000, whatever. And how are we gonna do this? Okay, count six figs. Five, five, four, one, one, four, four, divided by 30 equals one, eight, four, seven, zero, four, point eight. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sig figs. And this is one sig fig, which means you better round this to one significant figure, which means it's that one right there at the beginning is the only sig fig. It's next to an eight, so it rounds up to a two. So 184,000 just becomes 200,000. And then if you want to turn that into scientific notation, that's 2 times 10 to the 5th. So there's the number as scientific notation. That 1 is next to an 8, so it becomes 2 times 10 to the 5th. All right, onward. And, uh, oh, I just realized, make sure to add the 1 sig fig. All right, and then um, let's keep going with the rest of this. So that's 1 minus 0.25. All right, we all know that's going to be 0 0.75 for the raw answer. Addition, subtraction is the rule. We're going to count decimal places. And then let's see, 1 minus 0 0.75, or sorry, 0 0.25. 
makes 0 0.75 for your answer. And your last sig fig is here and here. So we better round here. And this zero is next to a seven, so it rounds up to being a one. All right, so let's do uh, the next thing. This number. Calculator spits out 500. Now, we're going to follow multiplication division rules, of course. We're counting sig figs. Which means that we then need to do 31.25 times 16 equals 500. So this is four sig figs. This is two. We better make this have two sig figs. Right now it's one. If you put a decimal here, that's three sig figs. That doesn't work either. If you put a decimal here and call it 50 with a point, then it's not 500. It's 50. That's a totally different number. So the only way to give it two sig figs is to say 5.0 times 10 to the second, as in turn to scientific notation and then just give it two sig figs. That's the only way that's possible for the number 500 to have two significant figures. There you have it.